you know, from a market perspective, just ask the basic common sense question. Uh, what are the essentials? Who are providing the essentials? Uh, obviously, if we're looking at the food sector, um, anything dealing with nutrition, uh, anything dealing with high tech, look at our daily lives. What do we need? We all need that cell phone. We all need the software. We all need the hardware. So I think in terms of high tech and what you're seeing is also, I mean, a lot of crises like these, like we want to experience in right now, often, you know, there is transformation. But that, that transformation can take shape more. And I think it's more about accelerating existing trends, existing orientations. Crises like these will accelerate it. Uh, so something that may have materialized in, within five to 10 years time is going to happen at a much quicker pace. And specifically what I'm speaking about is digitalization. Uh, people who never, you could say this tech savvy people and obviously this tech challenge people and there's everyone else in between. Uh, so many people who were previously forced, you know, or previously were reluctant to use technology in their daily lives will actually now be forced by necessity. They will be using, so it's no longer by choice. Now we're talking about by necessity, increasing the digi digitalization of one's personal life, whether it's professionally or personally. So when you talk about investing where, which markets, definitely the tech sector, uh, food security sector, and just to ask as an entrepreneur, particularly as an entrepreneur and investor, ask yourself the basic questions. What are the essentials that people need in time of crisis? Who's producing them? Where do they come from? What supply chains do they use? And that, I think, provides some insight into the areas that will keep growing.